right, uh, the AFLW season's in full swing, getting ready for week three this week after uh, some very impressive performances so far to date and some lacklustre ones too, it must be said, from some teams. But the Melbourne Football Club are always front and centre. And when Tyler Hanks is in the team, there's a good reason for that. She's a star. The vice-captain, multiple best and fairest, joins us on the line this morning. Good morning, Tyler. Morning, Half. Thanks for having me. Good on you. Nice to have you with us. How have you seen the first couple of weeks uh, from your gals? A bit of a change in the off-season with some players uh, yeah. getting to different clubs and leaving for another opportunity. But what's it look like from your eye in the first two weeks? Yeah, it's been really good. Um, obviously, I think we've got a pretty tough start to the season, as do a few other clubs. But I almost think that's the best way to have done it, um, with a, a new-looking team a little bit um, and a few girls that left us. But, yeah, I've been really happy, I think. Obviously, round one, happy to get the win. But our game looked pretty good, and Geelong have obviously improved a lot as well. Um, and then Brisbane, obviously a really challenging game. And, um, yeah, we would have liked to have a better result there and make the best of our opportunities a little bit more. But um, they're a pretty tough team. And coming off their first round game, we sort of knew that they'd be coming out. But um, we'll take a lot out of that game, I think, which hopefully holds us in good stead for this week. And it doesn't get much easier for you either. And, and uh, the way that mm-hmm. they've structured the competition, that the good teams play each other the, from last year, the, the teams that perhaps weren't as good play each other, and then it starts to mm. turn around the back half of the season. You talk about that being yeah. the best way to start, but you've got the Kangaroos uh, this yeah. week, and, and they were the ones that kicked you out of the finals last year. Um, so is there a bit of redemption being sought this week? <laughs> um, I don't think redemption. I think there's always been a real good rivalry between us. Um, like you said, we've played a lot of prelims and, and big games against each other um, over the last few years. And yeah, they're such a strong team. Like You saw their performance in round one against Brisbane um, and then a good game again with Geelong. Um, so they've got some incredible players in Garner and Riddell and um, yeah, something we'll definitely have to look at. But I'm really excited um, by the challenge of that. And I think, yeah, we've had a good win and um, a loss that we've learned a lot from. So hopefully we can um, implement both of those this week. So what's the, what's different about this Demons outfit under mixed in here this year? What, what are you seeing is going to be different or what does need to be different to, to go a step further? Yeah, I don't think we need to change too much. Like we, we played a really good um, sort of first half of that year and then um, found that back half and finals campaign pretty challenging. But, um, I think you'll see a lot of similarities for us. It's just making the most of our scoring opportunities. Um, we've got we've tried to strengthen up our backline quite a bit, and I think they've been performing really well so far um, this season. So I think when we defend well and then um, we can attack the other way and, and use our speed, I think that's sort of us at our best. But, um, yeah, a few new girls coming in, like you saw Pisano debut last week. Yeah. Um, that was really exciting. So... We've got some real good footballers coming through um, and the more opportunity they get, I think, yeah, we'll see some new faces across the group, which is which will be great. You'll lose Taylor Harris for the season with that shoulder injury. I'm, I'm understanding yeah. why she was going to spend a bit of time down back, probably solidifying that, that area of the ground as you talk about. How big a blow mm. is that and how do you fill that role? Yeah, she's, she's pretty hard to replace um, and you can't really, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, she was training down back, which was really good with her aerial presence and her kicking is unreal. Um, and then even when she went up forward, she's such a good target for us there too. So definitely one that we lost, but um, it gives opportunity for other girls. We've got Eden Zanker and Alyssa Bannon, um, so they take a bit more responsibility in our forward line. And then Talia Gillard um, and our, our group down back, um, they've been training really well as well. So with Taylor had a few injuries throughout the preseason too, so a lot of us had trained um, sort of without her at times, but Oh, we'd definitely love to have her out there if we could. Well, what did you make of the conversation when she took off to Paris? That, that wasn't overly well received by a lot of people in football. Yeah, I think uh, I can understand why people would question it. Um, but for me and, and for our group, like we discussed it before she left and she was pretty open about it too. But um, not many of us are getting, you know, opportunities to go to Paris, I don't think. And um, to be in the amongst the people that she was and, and she's brought back a lot of learnings for us professionally and um, even just as athletes and female athletes. Um, so I think she only really missed one training session. She, you know, trained on the day that she got back. She made sure that, um, yeah, she missed as you know, little as possible, um, which obviously is just a testament to her. But for us, I think we were really happy that it's a pretty unique opportunity and um, it was going to benefit our program as well. So... Yeah, it was, it was pretty cool to hear some of her stories when she got back. I'm sure. So this Sunday, uh, we mentioned the Kangaroos games at Casey's Fields, which played all right yeah. last week. A little bit of a breeze down there. It's always yeah. a bit of a challenge. Do you, do you like playing in the wind or not? Uh, personally, not really. Um, but 
I think it also it gives you a bit of a strength. Like when I got to the ground last week, it was it wasn't much wind, but it sort of just picked up as you start the game, um, which tends to happen. But yeah, it does mean that you've got to be pretty smart about where you kick the ball, and especially going inside fifty, um, you've got to be pretty efficient about yeah where you enter and um, where you attack the ground. So I think that definitely helps us, and we're experienced in that. But um, yeah, I'd probably rather no wind this up if possible. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what can happen uh, throughout the back end of the season. A huge game. The two of the best teams in the, the W competition, Melbourne and North Melbourne, head to head 105 Sunday at Casey Field for all the D supporters to get along and support the gals. Wish you the best of luck, Tyler. Always love watching you play. Go get him on Sunday. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate it. Good stuff. Tyler Hanks with us, the vice captain of Melbourne, getting ready for the clash against the Kangaroos. Keen to hear more from the Ds? Subscribe here.